Alright, in this video I'm going to teach what I believe to be the easiest way to apply makeup to a photo and different kinds of colors and stuff that you can get by doing this. Also, um, if I have enough time I might show a quick thing on how to do eyes, how to change eye color and make it really cool. Okay, so first thing I do, also um, this theme here, the, how, I know people are going to ask me why is everything black or how did you get it black? Uh, it's a free download, it's the Zuma theme, so type in Zuma, Z-U-M-E, Zuma theme and then download the free Zuma theme and apply it. And it's real simple. It's, it's official Microsoft, so it won't slow down your system. All right, so left click on the layer, the background layer, and drag it down to this icon. And then you got your new layer to work with. We'll go to Image, Adjustments. I'm going to go to Color Balance. I'm going to do the Crystal Makeup first. Turn this brightness up here, the cyan and the blue. Then we'll go to Layer add layer mask, hide all. You can switch back and forth now between these two. We're going to work with the layer right now. I have white selected. I'm going to have my opacity up to 100% for now. I can always erase soft brush by right, right mouse clicking to bring this up. It's just an easy way to get your brushes. Brush in the makeup. Say you want it to extend down like that. You can do all different kinds of styles. It's up to you. It's a really easy way to experiment with styles even on your own self. If you upload your own photo, you can then experiment on your own self and to see what kind of makeup you might look cool with. So there's the crystal. Um, and if you want, you can, you know, like I said, you can switch this to black and you can erase, start over. This way you're not actually, you're not actually, uh, you're just revealing this layer through the mask. This way you're not actually destroying the layer. Let's say you kind of wanted this, uh, look like that coming through so you can experiment with different different kinds of stuff all right let's go ahead and after you have the makeup applied you can also change the color so let's say we're going to apply the makeup here we'll just gonna do this kind of like that then we want to change the color click back on this icon the picture go to image adjustments. You can also go back to color balance or you can go to hue and saturation and colorize. Now you can mess around with different colors. Let's say you want kind of a orangish tint. You can make it really bright like that and then you can click OK and you can turn down the layer opacity and just to see what that looks like. So you can mess around with different colors. You can also go to multiply or use different, you can go to overlay, multiply, try different stuff. Um, just to see what, turn the opacity down, try soft light, and so forth. You can get different effects that way. Let's go to multiply, get this dark look, turn the opacity up and down. You can also then change the color further if you wanted to, even after that, by going back up to the, let's see here, we can go here, get kind of a red color, kind of a purplish color, you know, whatever colors you want to try. So that's a cool way to do makeup, lipstick. Eye, you can also paint right over the eyes and get a little bit of eye change that way as well, but there's actually better ways to do eye color change. Okay, so that's, um, if it has a little glitter, you can also just make a copy of the layer itself. Let's go back to normal. make a copy of this layer here. I turn that layer off so it's not visible. And then instead of doing, you can just go right to hue and saturation and then try different colors as well for your makeup and messing with this here. The saturation, get different, doing different colors. Let's say you want kind of this like uh, turquoise. And you can set it to soft light if you wanted to just to see what it looked like. Overlay. And you can paint that in if you wanted to by going to Layer, Hide All. Now you can paint this uh, color in. And just see if what her lips look like as well. I can make it better, but I'm just showing it really fast. You know, you can erase uh, where you don't want it to show up by going back to black. 
So black and white just erases this here, showing the layer underneath it. Turn the opacity down, and you can mess around with different things like that as well. Make this normal. Turn the opacity down, and voila. So you can mess around with different stuff like that. So what that allows you to do, turn my opacity my brush down, I can also go in and customize how it fades. So it's, say it's uh, not so much around there, but more around the edge of the eye. color balance let's try um, let's try a lot of red then go to hue and saturate or excuse me color balance I meant now highlights and then yellow and kind of oops the wrong thing go here kind of erase a little bit like that And the opacity down. So you can experiment with different stuff like that. So anyway, that's uh, really a neat way to do makeup. You can experiment, you can do blush that way and everything. Okay, now really quick how to do eyes. I'm going to delete those two layers. Use the lasso to tool. Select around the eye. Don't have to be perfect. Hold down the shift key to make another selection. Go to Control C V to copy and paste. You can also go up here to copy and paste to edit. And then we're going to change the uh, color balance. Highlights. Okay, and since our eyes are really dark, we'll then go to adjustments levels. We'll pump that up. And maybe like so. Let's try like that first. Then we'll go to Edit, Adjustments, and we'll try um, Hue and Saturation. Color Balance. Mess with different colors that you think might look cool. I'm going to try this kind of blue crystal color. And I'm going to go back to Color Balance again. Just mess around with different stuff like this just to kind of get a interesting effect you want. And then we'll go to layer and now we're going to go to uh, hide all just like we did before. Again painting with the white we're going to reveal that layer underneath. Let's see if I make it small enough. You can also go outside just a little bit if you want to kind of give it a glow. You can also erase by using black. And there you go. And then if you can click back on this here, you can go back to hue and saturation and you can change the color to red, let's say. And there you have it. And then you go to image, uh, let's go to color balance. And we can add a little bit of yellow. Data, like mostly eyes aren't one color, they're usually two colors, so that way it's kind of yellow and red at the same time. Okay, so that's how you can uh, change eye color. You can really, you can do all kinds of stuff with this, um, with this technique I'm using right now. How to paint superhero skin, how to paint metal skin. Like, watch real quick, um, if I have enough time left. We can uh, make a copy of a layer. Go to image adjustments, color balance, highlights, pump this up to where it's kind of metally looking like that then go to image adjustments hue and saturation color balance so let's say you want kind of have kind of a gold skin then or bronze kind of bronze goldish and bam there you go you can then go to image adjustment and either reveal a hide all and then paint away what you don't want to be uh, metal and there you have it you can have this kind of metal look on top of somebody you can also then um, paint designs uh, onto the skin, let's say you want